Happy Monday Knitters! I'm Louise from Wildflower Wool and welcome back to my channel. It is another episode of New Start Monday Knits and if you have been joining me in the past few weeks you know that I am here every Monday showing you what I am casting on for this upcoming week. I typically always have two projects. One is a dishcloth and one is another item that just calls to me from my stash. So before I jump in with the new starts for this week, let me show you what I worked on this past week. I'll start with my dishcloth. Quite a few people. Remember this one I had said, oh, the lighting's not very good here, is it guys? It's kind of blowing out here. But remember I said a few people had left me comments about the almost lost washcloth? Well, I finished it. Last week's video, I had, what did I have? Three or four of the points finished. I finished this. I love it. And I actually really quite like it in the white. I did not finish this ball. What did I say last week? It was about 41 grams, this ball of Bernat Handicrafted Dishcloth Cotton. I still have some left. I haven't weighed it, but I'm going to use it with some of my orange variegated and I'm just going to kind of do a scrappy dishcloth to finish off the white. But I did leave a link to this dishcloth pattern. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I posted it on my Facebook group, the Wildflower Wool Facebook group. So if you, um, you can either go to Ravelry and just search for it or you can look it up on my Facebook page. And I highly... Highly suggest knitting it. It is really fun. It's really easy. You don't need to the pattern. I'm pretty sure I said all this last week, but I am repeating again because I really, really liked it. And I'm going to be doing more of these for gifts to put in my Christmas box. Is it too early to talk about Christmas? I don't think so. Anyways, that was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. What else did I work on? I'll just start with what's closest to me. My flamingo sock. I picked this up. I know last video I had shown you the heel flap and the heel turn. So this week what I did was I picked up my stitches along the heel flap. I worked the decrease. You can see the decrease line there. And I am just back round and round, just plain, simple knitting for the foot. And I'm just going to keep going. I've decreased back down to my original number of stitches that I used for the leg. So now I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going until I am two inches less than the length of my foot. And then I will work some toe decreases and then this sock will be done. I'm loving it. And the stripes look like they're um, yeah, yeah, I think they're kind of, they're looking similar. I was kind of concerned that after interrupting the stripe pattern to do the heel, the heel flap and heel turn, I was wondering how the foot would stripe compared to the leg. Maybe not quite here. We're getting a little bit more on track. So anyways, I'm liking it. I love this. You guys know I love this flamingo colorway. Love it, love it, love it. Not even worrying about the fact that I have to knit a second sock. I'm actually really, really looking forward to that. So I'm just going to put this back in my rotation for this week as well. The other thing that I did a little bit of working on. Oh, you know what? There is one that I do. I did not grab to show you. All right. I'll have to show it to you next week. Anyways. Got distracted there. I was thinking, yeah, there was one more. I should have had one more project here. Anyways, it's in the project bag on the other side of the room. So you will just have to be in suspense until next Monday. But in the meantime, let me show you the hitchhiker. This guy has been getting consistently worked on the last few weeks since I started it. And what do I have? This is where I this is where I was last Monday, and I've got one, two, three more points put on this and as always it's getting a little wider there is a little pooling going on now that we're getting some extra width on here those nice skinny stripes not so much anymore so that's the thing with variegated yarn as 
the, the width of your project changes, the width of those stripes changes. Anyways, that's okay. I'm liking it. What it, it well, it is what it is, right? So there's not nothing really we can do to change it. There is nothing we can do to change it because this is just how the yarn, how it's dyed, this is how it's knitting up. But that's okay. I, I'm liking it. It's good. Um, I'm well over 20 points on this and I still have a fair, fair amount of yarn. This ball, I think I mentioned a few videos ago, I didn't do that all that good of a job winding it apparently. And as I was knitting it, there were some loose strands coming around the cake. I tried to fix it by winding from the outside end, just winding it into a ball. And I got, well, I got this much wound and I ended up with a bit of a mess. But so far, fingers crossed, I can still knit from it. A little tip, if any, we have any new knitters watching out here. When you get a mess like this, it is so tempting to pull it tight. You just want to keep pulling this long, this tail of yarn. And you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling until this gets tight. That is the worst thing you can do. The best thing you can do when it gets tangled like this is loosen it up. Just keep all of this nice and loose. Anything that's looking where it's knotted and tangled, just try and loosen it and then gently pull the, the strand of yarn. The looser you keep this mess, the better off you're going to be. So, so far, I'm still being able to knit from this little bit of a tangled mess that I have. And I haven't, oh my God, I shouldn't even say this because I will jinx myself, but I haven't, I haven't even entertained the thought of having to cut my yarn because I really don't want to cut and have to join it and weave in some ends. So I'm just going to keep loosening up that little tangled mess and keeping my fingers crossed that I can just keep knitting until I'm past that and then back into the nicely wound yarn. Okay, something else that I've cast on. This was a new start from... I don't know, way back in January, probably. And on that New Start Monday video, this blue ball of yarn, all I had done was a gauge swatch. So I'll just go over. So this was um, my original needle. I had done this much. I thought it was a little too loose. So I put a pearl ridge in here just so I could differentiate between the two needle sizes. And I did a little bit more and... I probably really I should have done a little bit more to get an accurate um, so I can measure it a little bit better have a little bit more width here but anyway but I knew just from looking at it that I liked the look of this this was a little too loose for me and I'm happy with this so I actually started it you guys I actually did my math because I'm doing my gauge to garment process for sweater knitting which is basically knitting with no pattern you just get your gauge your measurements you do a little multiplying and you cast on and you knit so look at this I am cast on I only have what do I have here but three three rounds done on the ribbing but it is started and to be quite honest I don't even know what needle size I'm using I really don't five and a half maybe I don't know it's chunky the yarn oh no I remember I remember saying this in the other video I got to this exact same spot and thought okay what is this yarn and people left me messages in the comments it's Brett what is it some people corrected me they 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 typed in and I'm like yes that's exactly what I was thinking about and that thing that mental block is happening again marble J J Brett, is that something like that? You guys, you guys are probably all sitting at home going, oh my gosh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Anyways, I have a few balls of this upstairs in my yarn room and it is going to be turned into a pullover. I'm not sure if I originally, when I talked about this, if I knew what I was going to do, if I was going to do a pullover, if I was going to do a cardigan. I don't know. This is one of these times where my yarn is really, really, truly talking to me. 
and is one is a make me into a pullover. So that's what I'm going to do, which is, I don't know. I don't necessarily wear pullovers all that much. I wear cardigans all the time, but I don't know. I want to make a pullover. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have cast on, I've got, obviously I'm doing magic loop. I've got all I could find, what, what is, whatever length of cable this is, which is really long, which I'm thinking is maybe 60 inches. I would really like to have a smaller one because it is a little bit awkward, but I think it'll be better now that I've got these first few rows done. The first couple of rows seemed really, really awkward. And with all, I mean, I think I, I have a hundred and I put on 146 stitches for the ribbing and I'm going to rib for a little bit longer. I don't want to have too, too much ribbing on this and I'm doing a knit one, purl one because that almost looks like stockinette. When it's knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, it lays, um, the ribbing's like really close together. So really those purl stitches really recede to the back. So all you see are the knit stitches. So it's gonna look very much just like stockinette as opposed to knit two, purl two that definitely has those columns of rib stitches. And that's not what I'm really looking for for this. I just want, I want to have ribbing so it'll um, hold the bottom of the sweater down so it doesn't curl, but I don't really want it to look like ribbing. So that's why I chose a knit one, purl one. I don't know what I will do. I'll do it for an inch and a half maybe. And then I will increase a few stitches back up to the amount that I need for the um, chest measurement of the sweater. And then I'm gonna knit this Again, I just want something kind of simple and mindless. Round and round stockinette and no, no waist shaping, no shaping at all in this sweater is my plan. Just a simple knit, something I can just pick up and work round and round and round every night this week. And um, I'll show you how far I get next Monday and keep track to keep you can watch my daily progress on Instagram wildflower wills Instagram page I'll post some pictures there I'm sure as this sweater starts progressing the other one that I did not pull out is the orange shawl that I started last week I knit a ton on that I knit the most on that and that's the one thing I didn't pull out to show you anyways um I'll show it to you next week or I'll post some pictures on Instagram in between. If you're really curious, you can check it out there. Anyway, I am loving it. It's just garter stitch, some simple increases, asymmetrical shawl. I am loving it and I am loving the yarn. That was my special, special yarn from Norway from Pickles. And oh my goodness, I'm in love with that yarn. In love with that yarn. I may have to see if I can order some and have it shipped to me because I think I need one. But, okay, let's get into the new starts for this week. So you know there's going to be a dishcloth because I have got to keep, I'm keeping track, uh, you know, I'm keeping on track with doing one a week. And so far, I, have, I so far, I mean, what are we? We're in, oh, getting close to the end of March and I'm still on track. I'm truly, I'm surprising myself with that. <laughs> okay, so this here is another ball. This is a brand new full ball, Bernat Handicrafter, and the colorway is tangerine. So it's it's an orangey color, obviously. My, sorry, I know my lighting tonight is not that good, but it is orange, tangerine, perfect name. I am not so sure about this pattern. I was looking through a vintage book on the weekend, and there was... A stitch pattern and in the picture I thought hmm I really like that and I don't know I'm still not a hundred percent sure and I'm not sure you guys can really really see this this is this is what I would call the front side of this and if you look really closely at it it, it just looks like pearl stitch it looks like the wrong side of stocking up right or really but if you kind of look at it there can you see how it does look like there's texture it looks like almost like um ribbing columns 
which and that is what kind of redeems itself a little bit to me and it, it is textured you can feel there's a bump there's a dip there's a bump there's a dip there's a bump like you can feel it so I don't know I am still not 100% sure what I think about this and this is done all, all with purl stitches so if you are like my friend Adrian who does not like to purl you would not enjoy doing this it is a slip stitch it's basically like a heel flap on this side look at you can see the slip stitch pattern it makes so I don't know, maybe if you like this side better, you could call this the right side. Anyways, it is just a two row repeat. One side is slip stitches, the other side is purls, but every other stitch you purl through the back of the loop. I don't know. Um, I just, I don't, I really just don't know. I'm thinking me, I don't know. I don't know if I would bother with this again. I'm going to finish it because it'll use up some yarn. It'll be a finished dishcloth. It'll go towards my count of having one done every week. And then I'll decide at the end. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly keep looking at it. And at first I think, ugh, no, there's nothing. I don't know. There's got, I don't know. There's got to be better patterns out there. I don't know if I would. I say waste my time because that's not really what I mean I'm enjoying doing it it's very easy to know what row when you pick up you know this is your slip stitch row when you pick up this way you know you're on the purl row so it's easy enough you don't have to have the pattern to um, follow those two the, the two row repeat I don't know maybe I don't, I, anyways I just don't know <laughs> I really don't I'm just going to finish it and we'll see. I doubt it'll be one that I, I do again. I think I'll just move on to find something else. Second cast on for this week. This is some yarn that I've had in my stash. I have four balls of this and I believe this came from the Knitter's Frolic possibly last spring in Toronto. It is some Noro. And which one is it? Usually I have tons of Noro Silk Garden, but this is not Silk Garden because it is smooth and it has to, yes, it's got 40% cotton. 40% cotton, 30% silk, and 30% viscose. Oh my, it has no wool in it. That's why it's so nice and soft. Anyways, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this, but can you... Can you, uh, there, can you read that? Anyways, that is what is lovely. Totally not my color. It's pink, pink, kind of a pinky lavender-y color. I think I bought this thinking of my mom, possibly, probably. Anyways, I cast on. I have four balls of this, so it's a worsted weight. And they suggest on the ball band, they say a 4.5 millimeter. I went up to a 5.5 millimeter, which looks like a US 9. And I'm not, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this. So, and I just happened, I had some straight needles, so I just grabbed some straight needles, but I'm going to have to find some circular needles because what I decided to do is to make this into a triangle shawl. So this is, I started at the bottom, so this is going to be the bottom point and working my way out. So as you can see, it didn't take very long to fill this needle. So I'm going to have to find a 5.5 needle tip and find a cable. And this again is just simple, simple, but it's not garter stitch. I decided to do stockinette stitch. I just, the basic triangle shawl where I am increasing on the edge, I'm creasing on either side of my center stitch and then one more increase on this side. And I'm just gonna work it till I get to the end of my four, four balls and I will cast it off. So it'll be however big four balls makes it. <laughs> Whether, and I don't know, I mean, so far, I mean, it's pretty, the, the rows are pretty short right now but it doesn't seem to have used up a whole lot of yarn. The 5.5 millimeter is making it really nice and it's going to be really drapey. 
I think it'll be nice. I like how I like the 5.5 with this. I just like the increase up the center. It's just going to be a nice detail. And the yarn has a little bit of a fleck in it. There's some orange and there's some yellow. Uh, maybe it's a little bit of blue in there. I think it's really, really pretty. And the yarn is super soft. I mean, cotton and silk. Um, really, really soft. No possible way anybody can tell me that this feels itchy because there's nothing to be itchy. Cotton, silk, and viscose. So I think it'll be nice. This is definitely going to be a gift for somebody. Probably my mom, maybe my sister-in-law. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it's going to go in the Christmas box for sure. I'm hoping that the yarn over is on the side. I'm also slipping the edge stitch. It is curling a little bit right here, which is bugging me, but I'm hoping that it will lie flat. I'm also hoping that doing the yarn, slipping this, the edge stitch and doing the yarn over will also keep it from curling. And so far it looks like it is lying nice and flat. If for some reason, once I get a little bit more done, if this does decide to start curling in, then I will take it out because I don't think I want this to curl. But right now, I think it's doing okay. I think it'll be fine. I think that yarn over on the edge will be enough to hold it flat. So if that is it. I think that is all I have to show you. I'm really bummed that I didn't bring that other shawl over to show you because I was so excited that I got so much done on it. Oh, well, this is pretty good though. I think I showed you quite a bit of what I got done. I certainly have had a lot more knitting time this week, every evening and the whole entire weekend. <laughs> uh, just at home, me and Daisy and my knitting. So I'm getting a lot done these last, um, well, what is it? It's really only just been over a week that we have been uh, doing the social distancing and really just staying in home in our homes and knitting right so let me know in the comments below how your week has been are you close to finishing anything have you started anything new i've seen in some facebook posts and instagram posts i have seen some hitchhiker starts because the fiber friends do have a knit along started now for a hitchhiker there is um a finished finished object thread on Ravelry. So I am, we haven't really decided when the end date is going to be for that knit along. I'm not sure if we decided the end of April, the first week of May, something like that. So there's still plenty of time. Grab some yarn from your stash and join in. You can put um, progress pictures on the Fiber Friends Friday Night Knitting Group on Facebook. When you get something finished, pop it in over on the Ravelry page because we do have some prizes up for grabs. And I think that is everything, guys. So yeah, let me know what you're working on this week. I would love to know if you're starting something along with me this week. On Instagram, use the hashtag NewStartMondayKnits, and then I can follow along and like and comment on your projects. And I will see you back here. Actually, I will see you here Monday for some more new starts, but I will also be back here on Friday because this coming Friday is the last Friday in March and I will be back with some finishes. I do have some finishes to show you and we'll see this week I possibly might be able to finish something else and then I'll give you an update on what I have finished out of all these new starts what I have finished. I am going to attempt to keep track of the meters that I've knit and we'll, we'll take a look in and check in with my ball band box to see how many new ball bands are in there. So anyways, guys, have a fantastic week. Cast on something new. Cast on something that is going to make you happy this week and knit along with me. I will see you on Friday. Bye for now.